Welcome back to Let's Play Rush and Quank 2 Going Commander. We are now in Slim the Ship Shack because I want to buy this. The nuclear detonation device. Yeah, I got 60 uranium by like going to Planet Tabora and using that drill get that uranium drilling device and some from those random ships, so I need to be prepared for the next planet because yeah, because I can do the bolt trick, which I always promise that I will do. I think I think that I think there's a cutscene now. I said that finally. Or not. Or it's probably now. No, apparently there's no cutscene. It was me being wrong, but yeah, I just see this now. This ship it takes so many heads normally, but just see this. Boom! Yeah, this is not the yeah, this is not the mission for the bolt trick. Even though actually it takes very few time to beat them with that, you know. But yeah, if, as you can see, anything just blew up with that. So it made it very easy. That's basically how you actually can get lots of bolts from these missions because you actually get yeah you get bolts you get bolts every time you do a mission of these you know I don't know if they changed something in the history collection because this work of history I tried it <coughs> excuse me yeah I've seen a video of it in 2009 you know I mean that video was uploaded in 2009 but I saw it like two years later <laughs> anyway. We were off. What? I died with the strongest thing I could ever get from the game. That's stupid. We got three now. I can do this very quickly right now. I guess I know what to do. This needs to blow up as well. Yeah, if you don't have enough like upgrades for your ship, it is gonna be a pain in the butt. And that map is confusing me terribly. Yeah, it's terribly confusing in your opinion. Go, oh, please! I think so slow. Oh, it disappeared. See that, that that's why I hate this map. It takes ages before one of the ships disappears. Do barrel, do barrel, barrel, yay! And they done. Well, it looks like the thugs moved Angela out of this quadrant. See if you can pick up any transmissions on the deep space channels. What is your problem? I'm trying to make a living here and you two losers keep lousing it up! Ratchet and Clank, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if you two don't hightail it back to your own galaxy, I'm gonna blast you into so many pieces you'll need a... and uh, uh, Well, there's gonna be a lot of them. I can tell you that. So you two hit the road, and don't bother trying to find me, cause I've got wind! Uh, I mean, I'm like the wind! You never know where I might show up next! And I blow hard! And I can be cooling on a warm summer day! And, uh, uh, well, you get the idea. Goodbye, morons! Does he realize he has just transmitted his exact location? If not, he's about to find out. So we can get now a new challenge. We gotta beat them all to get the platinum bolt, you know that now that. This is the trick. I can throw this here and Boom! Down the mission! One more time. Yeah, in challenge mode it takes really not much time to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep getting this until I get a ton of bolts, you know. Easiest mission ever. Yeah, it gives you 2,000 bolts in, in normal mode, but on challenge mode, it's gonna give you a lot more, you know. Yeah, this is a good farming bolt spot. It doesn't work that well on normal mode, but challenge mode is crazy good, you know, so. I forgot about that, <laughs> forgive me. Wow, I. 
fucked that up. Apparently, but it worked how somehow anyway. I can't even time for ratatium now. I can buy more shit. Yeah, because it's very easy to find a ratatium in this planet. It's very the easiest planet if you want to farm so for ratatium, you know. Uh, unlike the previous planets, which were shite for ratatium. It took so much time to like get some for this. I hate the good ship, it's so creepy. Yeah, I actually screwed it up so I better I can restart challenge. Let's just want to turn ghost. Let's want to do unghost. Please unghost, please unghost. Fuck, I hate this mission so much. Wait, I can use rockets now. Forgot about that. I mean missiles, or whatever they are. You know, I really, I really recommend you to get like those colors for your ship or whatever they are. Uh, at the end of the game, after you actually have enough for him for anything else, if you bought anything else, you know what I mean? Because it's gonna waste some regime. Come on, this is gonna blow up very soon. It reminds me of GTA stuff when it gets on fire before we are blowing up. Yay, yeah, did it! First try, that's not bad. I'm not gonna do shit, I... Yeah, mess this part already. Ah, again. Please do it, please do it, please do it. Yay. It's a good. Well, I almost missed that. That'd be stupid. Yeah, if you want some good advice, you better like farm Star Wars Rotatium before you beat the game for the first time in this planet, so you can buy anything except those colored stuff. I'll probably actually those two as well. You know, because I think it in challenge mode they're gonna be like harder. Even though with the with your new weapon it's gonna be very easy. I mean with your new rocket thing. It, kitty, it's nuclear bomb. It's for my 64 <laughs> themes thing. Fly through rings. Yeah, it actually came from Spider Dragon actually. And that's why I feel this is done from Insomniac because this fly through rings mechanic came from there. You know. I remember a level in Crash 3, but yeah, Crash 3 had one level of. Yeah, I'll fly two rings, but Spyro had fucking four in the first game and like five, six, even no, in the sequel, I don't remember now. Yeah, in the, in the third game, there was like four. Oh, second game as well. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're done now with this thing. Yeah, Exodus and go to the fuck for less. Hideout. Cutscene? No cutscene, apparently. Here I'm playing Snivelacker right now. See you next episode. Goodbye.